HelicopterJohn.com. I'm going to do a little uh, video here this morning on my uh, Oz uh, TM-1P. And uh, th what we're going to talk about here this morning is uh, using the, the Renishaw wireless probe. And I'm going to show you what we're going to do here. We're going to use the screen. We're up in the visual quick code. And uh, we're going to do uh, like a tool, tool setting operation. And we're going to go into the tool setting area. And you have various uh, ways you can set the tools. Uh, the one we're going to use here this morning, it sets the, it automatically sets the length and the diameter of the tool. And you can see it's uh, on the second row here and it tells you what that's going to do. But when you select that, then it gives you uh, different uh, items you have to fill in. And what they want to know is the tool number. As it turns out, we're going to do tool number four. So we'll put in four. That's our tool number. And now they want to know the tool length. In order to get the tool length, we come over here and we're going to measure it. It's measured from the very top of the boss down to the, the length, and that tool is approximately four and a quarter inches long. Okay? So we'll put in 4.25. That's the length. And uh, this is a 3 8 inch diameter cutter. We have to put in the approximate diameter of it. So now let's put in the diameter of uh, 3.75. And what it's going to do, it's going to come down and actually probe the, the, uh, the tool to get the length of it. And then it's actually going to offset on either side of it. And it'll give you the true diameter of that tool. Okay. So now we're going to tell it to probe the tool over on the tool setter. Now, it's, when it gets close down here, it's actually going to turn that cutter in reverse so it actually rubs on the, on the tool setter. It doesn't try to cut, it just rubs on it. And it'll make several touches and it'll average those to make sure it has the right reading. Okay, now, it's, now it has the length of the tool. Now it's going to go over there and check the diameter. It's going to touch it on one side. Now it's going to come and touch it on the other side. And then it's going to give you the diameter and also the actual tool length. Pretty easy, huh? This is the macro that it wrote to actually do that, that probing cycle. Now if we go over here into the offset screen, we look down here at uh, uh, tool number four, it's going to tell you what the tool length is, and it's also going to tell you what the diameter is. And it says it's like uh, the diameter, if you look over here, it's at like, uh, what, 3743? Three. Yep. Okay. So that's how the, the tool setter works. And you can do, you can actually set tools where you'll have just checking the length, or you can do the length and the width. If you have a, a tool like a, a fly cutter that has several different uh, cutting edges on it, you tell it the diameter of that tool, and it will actually rotate it like it did with this one, and it will tell you which is the, the low cutter on that tool, and that's how you'll get your, your tool height. Just remember, this is HelicopterJohn.com.